slightly different trailer on today. I haven't done the blower work for a while, but I'm going to pick up a load from Exeter and take it down to Cornwall. The first thing I do in the morning, as always, is my daily checks. And this morning I've woke up on quite a nice industrial state. And for some reason, I'm looking very tired considering it was very quiet last night. I'm not very far from where I'm loading this morning and I'm literally 10 minutes away. So I'm here at Exeter waiting to load. I think I've put all my details into the computer system right eventually. Um, and I'm just sat here waiting. I've not spoken to anyone yet and I'm hoping to get loaded really quickly because I'm going to be on Radio 1 at quarter past seven. So I really need to get this load on before then. And it's quarter past six now. After waiting quite a while and nothing happening, I thought I'd better go and find out what was going on. I've just been up to the office to see if I've done everything right and they reckon I have. So I still just need to just wait here apparently and wait for the number to come up, which I'm hoping it's gonna come soon. The driver up there that I know he used to work for Wayne's Transport and he kept saying, don't panic, don't panic. I was like, I am panicking. I want to get it loaded. And there's one of TVS's going in before me, even though he came in after me. And I'm here so long, the radio calls. Hello. Good morning. Very nervous. I do grain. So I carry grain from farms into mills in a tipper, although I have got the blower trailer on today. So I pick up... I pick up like animal feed and it's like a tipper trailer but it's got like its own engine and then the bins on the farms I blow the load into the bins. So just to explain a little more there are four of us taking part in the quiz this week. There is obviously myself, there's Lucy Leatham who you've seen on a couple of my other videos, Jodie aka the pink trucker and Sam the hired princess both of whom were out in Norway with me driving Scania's in the snow. We all have a day each on the quiz, Monday to Thursday, and then on Friday, the top two go head to head. My day on the radio is Tuesday, but let's just have a little look back at Lucy's on Monday. Now, Lucy gets a cheeky point before she starts, because when she was on a radio quiz years ago, she got asked what makes bread rise, and she said a toaster. So they gave her a bonus point. I'm very excited about this week's team. Um, and we're kicking it off with a group of girl truckers. We've got Captain Lucy. Hello, Lucy, my love, are you okay? Hello, yeah, I'm good, thank you. you picked up on the fact that you are a bit sleepy. What was your weekend like? What were you doing? Uh, we were at a truck show this weekend. So, um, yeah, little sleep and a lot of partying. <laughs> what? what happens at a truck show? Um, you'd like to show your lorry off and um, yeah, <laughs> drink and party a little bit. <laughs> by Matty Healy, he played a huge gig in London yesterday. Oh, I don't Matty know. Healy, it's also a year. It's a number. 1975. Go on, give a us a guess. Year. Yeah, the band are named after a year. Oh, the, I can't think. The, just um, say a year. In the 20th century. The, 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 so you're, the you're 20, 20? No, the 1975. Oh, no. Uh, which famous oh, Max won yeah. the Austrian Grand Prix yesterday? Oh no, I'm really bad at Grand Prix. Uh, <laughs> Make up a surname. Max if it's funny, we'll give you a point. That's a good Max Button? Yeah, I like it. It's not, but let's go with a point. Why not? Six points, yeah. my love. Oh, that's Six better points. than I thought. Oh, really? Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think me. Well, last time I'd done a quiz, I got two. And now it's back to my day. I'm hoping that I do a little bit better than Lucy, but I am very nervous. Which Mission Impossible actor celebrated his 61st birthday yesterday? Think short and cute. Uh, Danny DeVito? <laughs> the world's most expensive cow was valued at $4.3 million. Give me your best impression of a posh <laughs> cow. No. It's so stressful. <laughs> you got a score of nine, so you're currently in the lead, oh. Gem. Oh, at the moment. <laughs> at least I've done better than Lucy. Thank you, cheers, bye. As much as I'm glad that I didn't have to go and load whilst I had the phone call from the radio, I am still sat here now at quarter past eight, and I'm still not loaded. And then finally, my registration comes up on the screen. I've been here so long, look. It was my first time loading out of here, so I forgot to film it, but it's a really quick load. It literally only took about five minutes. I get my paperwork from the tray and close my sheet. 
and then I'm ready to head off to the farm. This load is going to a place near Loo in Cornwall and I'm still looking very tired. The product that I've loaded is called Robot Nuts and they are specifically designed for cows that use robot milkers. I take the A38 down to Loo, which means that I need to go over the Tamar Bridge. It was built in the 60s because tall point ferries were struggling to cope with the amount of traffic. This then takes me through a short tunnel on the Cornwall side. It's then not long before I'm off the A38 and heading down the country lanes to the farm near Loo. I've been given some directions down to the farm and it doesn't sound like it's too bad to get to. Before I know it, I'm at the farm entrance and all I need to do now is look for the bin that I need to tip into. And I reckon it's that big green one there. I think it's there. I might just go and find somebody. In the instructions it says dairy cake always blown in the robot bin. Well, I know that Laylee is a robot make and there has been that, so I'm pretty sure this is the bin that I need to go in, but I might just go and check with somebody. Yeah. Well, that was a spot luck. The farmer is going to ask one of the vans to move so that I can back right up to the pipe that I need to tip into. It's a bit of an awkward reverse with the cars parked all around, but I get there eventually. I can't actually see what's behind me now, so I'm going to stop there. If I need to go back more, I need to go back more, but we'll see. So, it's got to go on there, so I reckon that might be enough space. I'm happy with where I am, so I'm going to go and set myself up. I have all the same product on board the trailer, so the first thing I do is open the internal doors. Then I get my attachments for the blower and for the bin. And I clip the blower one on. Then I get a pipe that I think is going to be suitable to reach. And I screw the bin attachment onto the end of the pipe as I find this an easier way of doing it, rather than trying to screw it on after I fix the attachment to the bin. Then I just need to push it up onto the pipe on the bin and do up the Jubilee clip and that needs to be done up super super tight. Then I attach the other end of the pipe to the fitting that I've just fitted to the blower and I'm almost ready to go. I have a quick check underneath to make sure that the levers are in the right direction for blowing out of the offside. Then I need to start up the donkey engine which is the engine on the actual blower trailer and put the revs up. Unfortunately, the rev gauge is broken, so I have to do it by ear. I get it so that it sounds about right to me, so then I can start blowing. I close the valve on the side of the trailer, and then I start the feeder going, and then increase the air. Once I've got it started, I lift the body up slightly. and I don't need to lift it too high, just about a ram to a ram and a half. Then I go back to check and adjust to make sure it's blowing to its best potential. As you can imagine, these things are quite powerful as it needs to blow the load all the way up these pipes to the top of the bin. And then from the bottom of the bin, it's fed through these tubes into the robot milker as and when it's needed. I'm delivering around 18 tonnes here and it is quite a slow process. I need to be on the ball whilst I'm blowing as things could go wrong quite quickly. The cows look happy that I'm delivering their food. I spend most of the time tipping at the back, watching and listening to the load. I do have some proper ear defenders, but I took them home to use a jackhammer, so I'm using these green ones for now. I've not been on the blower for around six months, and I keep forgetting to bring them back, but I will bring them back for next week. There are small windows all the way down the side of the trailer, so that I can see how the load is going. For this load of pellets, it will take me just over an hour to tip this load. I always think it's a nice feeling when you can see the feed going down through the trailer. As the load is nearing the end, I lift the trailer body up a little bit more so that it all flows down a bit better. At this point, I have two to three tons left on the trailer and it seems like it's starting to need a little bit of help. So I put the auger on to help it along. I always think it's quite oddly satisfying watching it slide past the window. 
Once the needle drops right down and I can't see anything in the trailer, it's time to turn everything off. I like to turn everything back to the lowest possible setting so that when I start it up again, it's not going to cause me any problems. As every load blowing into every different type of bin all react differently. To blow a load successfully, it's all about listening to the engine and reacting. I now need to put everything away where I got it from so that it's there and ready for me to use on the next job. Now I just need to shut these doors. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shunt forward, make sure that they fall into place before I lock them. The last thing I do is just have a quick check around to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Now successfully tipped the load and I'm going back to where I loaded before for a load to frame. Hopefully I'll get loaded a bit quicker than I did earlier. Oh and I need to get some diesel for the blower on the way back. has made it really awkward for me to do so. Then it's back down the lane heading for the A38 in the Plymouth direction. This is the way I came down to the farm so it's back through the tunnel and back over the Tamar Bridge. But going in this direction at the end of the bridge I need to pay a toll. Um, can I have a seat please? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you cheers. For things like tolls, I pay out of my own money and then I put the receipt into the company to get my money back. Well, I'm back in Exeter, ready to load, and I think this might go a little bit better, hopefully. I've actually put all my trailer configuration into their system, so it should be quicker. Because today was the first time that I had loaded out of here, they didn't have my trailer configuration with the doors in their system so apparently that's why it took so long this morning. First thing I do when I get in there is take my sheet off and then I walk up the stairs to the computer. I confirm all my details on the computer system and then the lorry gets loaded really quickly. The chutes then retract and I take my sample down to put it in the sample bin and I make sure my sheet is on before I leave the loading bay. I've got my delivery note. And it really is as quick and simple as that in here. I've rung the farmer and I think I know which way is the best way to go now, which isn't the way I was going to go, but that's the way he said was the best, so that's the way I'm going to go because the farmer always knows best. Let's go! This time I'm heading down a very wet A30 and onto the A303. This journey will take approximately an hour and 45 minutes to get there. Once I leave the A303, I have a long way to go in the lanes. So while I'm going down the lane, I'm going to let you know how Jodie did on the quiz on Wednesday. Jodie, good morning. Do you reckon you can get a higher score today than Jem yesterday who got 10? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a text in, Jodie, saying that you drive a really nice pink truck. A bit like a Barbie truck. Is it that kind of pink? <laughs> it is very pink. Do you today? You've got a busy one ahead of you. 
Scottish coronation in Edinburgh. Um, I don't know, Philip. He's the he's the head. He's, he's the, the big top one. one. No, I don't know. I don't listen to Give it. Give us a guess. He sits on the throne. William. No. Jody. <laughs> Jody. 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 <laughs> Too bad. You got six. Lucy. Same as Lucy, and to be fair, I'm sorry, Lucy, but Lucy did get given some points. You kind of deserved all of those in your own right. So after that, it's looking like I'll definitely be in the final on Friday. And if Sam gets more than six, then she will be in the final with me. With that, I am at the farm and I'm looking for the place where I need to tip. I speak to the tractor driver and it's looking like I need to reverse around to that bin there. There is not much room in here to get my angles right, so I need to be really careful as I swing round. Once I think I'm in the right position, I get out and get my sopping wet gloves out from earlier and I get myself all set up ready to blow the load. Once again, this is all one product, so I open the internal doors whilst the body is still down. It's also looking like I only need one pipe, which is good because in general, the more pipes you use, the longer it takes to blow. I put all my attachments on and hook the pipe up to the bin. Sometimes the pipe adapter is quite snug onto the pipe of the bin and can take a bit of work to get it on and off. Although it is not always a bad thing as you don't want the pressure of the load pulling it off the bin. And then once I connect the pipe up, I'm ready to go. I put the donkey engine on and I put the revs up. Then I close the valve, I start the feeder and slowly increase the air. Then I put the body of the trailer up to about a ram and a half. Even though I only have one pipe, it's still being blown quite a long way to the top of the bin. I've also arrived at the same time the calves are getting their dinner. This load will also take just over an hour to blow off and I'm just keeping an eye on it through the windows on the side of the trailer and on the weigher. Once it's nearly out and I hear less feed blowing up through, I put the auger on to help the last little bit blow through. When it's empty the needle on the gauge will drop to the bottom and then I can turn it all off. It's always a nice feeling to turn the noise of the engine off. Then I just need to put away all my pipes and adapters. As you can see the pipe does not want to come off of the bin but I get there eventually. At this point I can also lower the body down. We haven't had much rain for the last couple of months, but for some reason, when I get put on the blower, it decides to absolutely pour down. I make sure I haven't forgotten anything and put everything away neatly. And then I give it a little shunt forward just to make sure the doors fall into position. And the last job I need to do here is lock the internal doors. On the soggy side, but it's fine. Right. And here we have one of those entrances that is a lot easier to get into than get out of. Once again, I have a really long way in the lanes back to the main road. So what I'll do is tell you how Sam got on in the quiz. And it's a good one. I'm a little bit nervous uh, and I've got a bit of toothache. I spent most of yesterday in the dentist. Well, apparently you took part in the World Crane Championships in Germany last year of all places. What is that? Sounds amazing. I did, yeah. It's, so, it's just this amazing event where loads of different uh, lorry mounted crane operators all get together and take part in a competition to basically see who's got the best skills. Are you ready to answer some questions all about what happened yesterday? I'm gonna give it a go. Yeah. It was National Bikini Day. Where would you normally wear a bikini? On a beach. Yeah, come on. Train fan Francis Bourgeois played Access All Apps with Vic and Jordan yesterday. What noise does a train make? Um, um, wah, wah. <laughs> Double points. In Sam's defense, this is what her fiance's truck horns sound like. 
was not bad at all. That was a lot better than um, Lucy and Jodie, I won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you got nine, babe. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That means you're going into yesterday's final. Where you'll be on with Greg, you and Jem, I believe, will go in head to head. That's exciting. Anyone you want to give a big shout out for? Oh yeah, if I could just give a big shout out to my kids uh, who I know are listening this morning. DJ, Jake, Katie and Noah. Aww. Thanks for playing, congrats. So that means that me and Sam go head to head tomorrow on the quiz. And now I'm out of the lanes and on the A303, going between those roadworks between Spartford and Poddymore. I'm loading in Exeter in the morning, so I'm heading back that way. And I pick up the A30. I pop into Exeter Services for a shower and there is nowhere to park, so I have to kind of abandon it. After today, I could really do with a shower. Right, I am now going to quickly go for a shower. But there is someone already in there, so I'm going to have to wait. I wasn't actually waiting long at all, only about a minute. And the lady came out shaking her head, and now I can see why. Instead of a shower, I have basically a hose. Might have to do. Well, that was not ideal, but it's better than nothing, so at least I'm washed. And then it's back out of the services to my abandoned truck. I head down the road to near where I'm loading tomorrow, as I know there is a place there where I can park for free, instead of paying the 30 odd quid that the service stations charge. I finish off my paperwork and then, of course, it's time for a cup of tea. Well, that's that all done and dusted for the day. I'm parked up on a 14 and a half hour day, which would have been less if I didn't have those holdups this morning. Got the water boiling for my cup of tea in the microwave and I'm gonna have my tea now. And today, I have got a salad. Homemade. And while I eat my tea, let's look at the final of the quiz on Friday. Today, which means the final is between Jem and Sam. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Do you have any wacky horns on your truck? No, mine are pretty standard, mm. um, but I am, uh, well, I'm hopefully going to get some new ones soon. Okay, Jem, what about you? Um, I have got some Hadleys, not the massive ones, the next one's down. Are you, um, are you in the truck at the minute? I am. Give us a blast then. Okay, I will, um, I've got yes. to put my ignition on. Get the ignition going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, uh, yeah we heard that. Oh. <laughs> Did you, play the loudest horn in the world. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think we all heard it. I think the whole postcode heard it. A lot of people are trying to get me to use the, uh, the, th the train sound effect as the correct noise for the quiz today. What noise does a train make? Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> and the final is different to the rest of the week. It's first to five. So we're going to go with Jem first because you were first, well, you were earlier in the week. And here we go. Okay. Do we have. Good luck, Sam. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Good luck, Jem. Do we have some dingers? <laughs> Dinger boys here. Question number one for Jem. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau asked Taylor Swift to add more era tour dates for which country? Canada. Canada is correct. Sam, Mark Zuckerberg revealed more than 10 million people signed up for a new social media site within its first seven hours. What's it called? Threads. That is correct. Which Scottish tennis player won his third set against Stefano Tsitsipas at Wimbledon? Uh, Tim Henman? No, Andy Murray. Oh, that's oh my God. <laughs> Tim Edmund. <laughs> it's not played for about 15 years. It's just a male tennis player. Yeah, yeah, no, no, fair head. enough. Uh, it, just, it just shows what you've got to do to cut through. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, who presented Radio One's early breakfast yesterday? Sam and Danny. Yes, they did. Jem, in uh, which Inder Club rapper celebrated his birthday yesterday? 50 Cent. 50 Cent is correct, playing wireless oh, yeah. this weekend. Sam, you need this to win. If you get this, you win. Question five. Which co-owner of Wrexham was pictured getting back into filming Deadpool? Oh, no. Uh, it's Ryan. But is it Gosling or Reynolds? Oh, no. Um, what are you going for? Uh, 
Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is correct. Yes! You won yesterday's quiz. <laughs> yes. The one with Gem's questions. <laughs> well, that's, that's very honest of you. I didn't have a clue who Justin Trudeau was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 very, the very sexy Prime Minister of Canada. Apparently but, so, yeah. He's, he's, very, he's very, very handsome. Let's, um, I think to celebrate, Sam, we could do with one more um, train horn from you. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think I got this. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Wah, wah. <laughs> Well done to Sam and thank you for watching.